right. This is a plea, uh, but Vashon, there are no applications. Court is calling 2023 CR 7166, State of Texas versus Luis Carnata. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the State of Texas. Defense. David McLean for Luis Coronado. Are you Mr. Coronado? Yes, sir. Counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review it with your client? I did, John. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Coronado, I'm going to show you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Mr. Coronado, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? You. You're charged with the offense of theft under $2,500 enhanced. That's a state jail felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand you have a right to a jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? I do, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do, Your Honor. Mr. Coronado, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at 118 days in the Bear County Jail under 12.44. There are no applications. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Defense? Yes. State? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The mm -hmm. only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence to support the plea? State offer state exhibit one in all attachments. Your Honor, I've reviewed that with my client. We have no objection. All right, thank you. State, you may be excused to continue to confer. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one in attachments and review the same. After reviewing state's exhibits one in attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. And the court will find you guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, uh, I've, I've discussed this matter with my client. Um, he understands he was not in a right place at that point. He's going to try and endeavor to uh, stay out of trouble. We just asked the court to call the plea bargain. Mr. Coronado, why do you keep spilling? Um, I was, this is, uh, I was depressed. I was just, I didn't know what I was doing. Well, no, a lot of, yeah, no, you knew what you were doing. You were intoxicated. Yeah. You went into this hotel. You took an item from their pantry, which was two beers, put them in your pants, and then went and sat on the bus stop drinking. So again, why do you continue to steal? Because if this were your first time stealing, you would be in misdemeanor court unless the cost of beer has gone up yeah. exponentially. So why do you continue to steal? Um, so I was out in the street and I, I was just good that my friends was just peer pressure me just to, how old are you? 31. At 31, no one has peer pressure. I don't understand a 31 year old. What were people were your friends saying, steal it, steal it, take the beer? I don't think so. <clears throat> like convincing me, I guess. I'm sorry, what? Like convincing me. Yeah, I don't understand a 31, 
one year old who's subjecting themselves to peer pressure. And who are you hanging around with? What age are they that they are pretty using young. peer pressure to have you steal? They're pretty young, like 20, 20, 26, 25. 26 and 25, that's still not the peer pressure crowd. When people think of peer pressure, they're thinking people who are in maybe high school, maybe middle school. We called it junior high when I was growing up. Do you want to spend the rest of your life in and out of prison and in and out of jails? No. All right. These cases, this state jail felony, at some point in time, if you continue on the path that you're on, these state jail felonies are going to be enhanced. And what that will mean is you will not be looking at up to two years in the state jail facility. We will start talking about prison time. Do you understand? Yes. So whatever is going on in your life, you need to get your life together. And you are at an age where you should not be hanging around or being with people who you say are using peer pressure to make you do the wrong thing. Do you have children? Yeah. What are their ages? 12. Just one? No, I got two. 12 years. 12, two 12 year olds? Are they twins? No, they're, they're six months apart. Oh, okay. All right. The court will find you guilty, sentence you to 118 days in the Bear County Jail on the 1244, give you credit for any time served. I'm showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Are you in your 12-year-old's lives? Yes. How so? Um, Do you I see them on a daily basis? I see them um, as much as I can. As what does that even mean? Um, their mom was in prison. And then the other one, um, we, she had another relationship, so it was pretty hard. So are they living with this mother or are they living with grandparents? No, with the mother. All right. You're going to have to try to do better things for your children. Otherwise, you know what's going to end up happening? If I have not retired, I may end up seeing your children before me. And you know what they're going to say? Well, I have a father who stole, so that's why I steal. And whatever the mother went to prison for, they're going to say, the reason why I do this is because my mother went to prison. Both you and the mother of these two boys or two children have not given them a good example and you all are giving them a bad start. You understand? All right. Good luck to you. Always good seeing you, Mr. McClay. You Have a good one. You too. Good see you. All right. Uh, Mr. Marshall. Yes, ma'am. Raise your right hand for me. Hey, yes, you solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true. Yes, ma'am. All right. You can put your hand down, Mr. Marshall. You're before the court on state of Georgia um, versus uh Alexis Dion Marshall, 2023CR09907 for one count of theft by shoplifting, one count, count two drug objects, count three marijuana, one ounce or less. Um, but, um, what is your client plea to the offense before the court? I see a no low plea to count one. Is that is that true? Yes, Your Honor. Counts two and three to be no cross. All right. By wait, entering. Wait a minute. That's a theft by uh -huh. shoplifting, Your Honor. A no low plea. I, the state would object to the no low. Okay. Y'all need to talk again. Very quickly, Your Honor. All right. We'll enter a guilty plea, Your Honor. All right. By entering a plea of guilty, um, you give up the right to have a trial by jury or judge. You give up the right to have the state prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. You give up the right to have the presumption of innocence in your favor. You give up the right to confront witnesses, subpoena witnesses, present testimony and evidence on your behalf to not incriminate yourself or present any testimony or evidence against yourself. And if you're not a United States citizen, a plea of guilty or no contest could negatively impact your immigration status. Do you understand all of these things? Yes, ma'am. All right, factual basis and recommendation, please. Yes, Your Honor. On October 4, 2023, an officer was dispatched to 2940 Anvil Block Road uh, in Clayton County, so Walmart. 
in uh, which the officer is advised uh, through loss prevention that the defendant, uh, Mr. Marshall, had been, been observed uh, from the surveillance video uh, going to the deli counter and grabbing uh, food and then going inside the mother's room um, to eat the food. Uh, they observed him do this for approximately five days. Um, at that time, the defendant was taken into custody. <laughs> The state is recommending for count one, a, a 12 months to serve 30 days, the balance to be suspended uh, as long as he does not return to any Walmart in Clayton County, counts two and three to be no pros. Okay. All right, Mr. White. Uh, we just ask that you accept the negotiated plea. All right. Mr. Um, Marshall, how old are you, sir? 35. Okay, Mr. White, do we have some issues? Um, Ms. Hahn talked with him, but I don't believe so, Your Honor. Just from my brief conversation with him. Okay. Um, Mr. Uh, Marshall, you're 35 years old. Why are we doing stupid stuff? I was, I was actually homeless at the time, and I just, I didn't have funds to buy food, so I just got, it wasn't an extravagant amount of food at the current time, it was just a six piece wing from the deli and I went to the back and I ate it. Okay, so here's the thing. There are agencies that will assist you, a lot of them with churches. Um, before you get out of the jail, talk to the chaplain, ask to speak to a chaplain so that they can give you some information so you're not back in this situation. Do you understand? Yes, All right, do you have a place to go once you leave or are you still um, homeless? I've been working on something while I've been incarcerated. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to accept your plea of guilty to count one. Counts two and three will be um, no pros. I'll send you to 12 months to serve 30 days credit for time served. Balance will be suspended as long as you do not go back to any Walmart in Clayton County for the 12 months that you're on uh, a suspended sentence. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. I hope things get better for you, sir. Well, um... As far as my sentences is credit for time served, will well, I be released today? If there's nothing else holding you, I don't have anything else, but I don't know if there's any other charges pending out there in another court or another jurisdiction. Yes, ma'am. All right. You can go back with the sheriff. He's checking for me real quick. Oh, okay. All right. You're good to go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Raise your right hand for me, Mr. Mason. You solemnly swear or affirm any testimony that you give in this matter will be true. Okay. All right. So, um, Mr. Mason, you're before the court on a probation revocation. You were before this court on case 2023CR08452 um, and case 2022CR04970. You were convicted of driving on a suspended or revoked license, uh, obstruction and officer, no insurance, no tag, expired or invalid tag, open container, speeding 11 to 15 over, obstructing an officer on the fifth day of October, 2023, and you were sentenced to six months on probation. Um, you have four months and 20 days remaining. It says that you failed to avoid injurious and visit vicious habits because you've tested positive for methamphetamine, amphetamine, alcohol. Um, and this was on you, oh, and you failed to report um, to, on November 6, 2023. You reported the next day on November 7th of 2023, and you are $1,805 in arrears. Um, Mr. Mason, what kind of party did you go to? Now, honestly, I don't know how meth, I don't, I don't even look like somebody that do meth. Weed and alcohol, I expected to be in my system because I didn't have the, you know, I had went on probation that week and then I went straight to the probation officer at the end of that week or the week after or something of that nature. 
So I didn't think that was going to be out my system. But how wealthy I am, I honestly do not know. I'm not a drug addict or anything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could tell, Mr. Mason. You could tell? Miss um, Ms. Hahn? Um, Your Honor, Mr. Mason has uh, told me the same thing that he is telling the court right now. Um, so that's essentially all I, I, I have to go by. Um, Maybe somebody still served him a drink. I'm not, I don't know. That is, Your Honor, I don't have anything further. Uh, I know Mr. Mason um, does have support though in his life. His mother was here. I think she was supposed to be logging on to the Zoom. Um, you said his wife and his mother? No, just his mother, but I, she had work. So she was asking me how long it would take. But I just Mr. Mason, how old are you? Answer, I'm 27. So. I know you're not making your mama miss a day of court over your foolishness. I mean, a day of work um, over your foolishness. I'm really not trying to. Honestly, I'm not no criminal. You look at my charges. It's all it's all traffic tickets for the most part. Okay, don't then mind. those are crimes, Mr. Mason. And uh, you wasted my time. You could stop getting traffic tickets. Yeah, I, yeah since then, since the last time I seen you, I done corrected my license. I done went ahead and got my insurance on, corrected the registration and all of that. I'm not trying to continue doing this. I missed my son's birthday over this, this past weekend. I mean, it's, it's taking time for my my own my family. I'm, I'm trying to handle business. I don't. I go. On, I was going through an eviction process when this happened. I'm not trying to keep going to court or going back and forth. Yeah, I'm trying to get everything in my life to situated. And I got other things going. I'm not trying to continue going into your court. I honestly Ms. not. Miss Chang, what you got for me, ma'am? What's your recommendation? Your Honor, the fines were paid in full after he was arrested um, on November 10th, they were paid. So what we're recommending is that seven days be revoked, credit for time served since November 7th, and suspend the balance, close the case. Thank you. Thank you. Your Honor, if I may be heard um, regarding the probation's recommendation. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Mason is requesting uh, that the uh, balance of probation not be suspended. Initially, we I'm looking at the disposition, but um, and it, it doesn't say, but I believe Mr. Mason may have been just put on probation just to pay the fines, and he's paid them. So he's requesting that the sentence essentially not just be held over his head um, since the fine of the fines have all been paid at this point. It was pay only probation or probation with condition? Um, there were conditions, Your Honor, but if okay, then that then that argument fails. All right. So um Mr. Um Mason, I'm going to revoke seven days. I'll give you credit for time served. You're going to return to probation and you'll attend one AA or NA meeting per week. Um, and I'll waive the supervision fees, but um, you're going to attend one AA or NA meeting per week and show proof of that. Because uh, right now, sir, you scare me. I don't want to put you out there to the point where you get behind the wheel of a car. Because if you got meth in your system, but you don't know how you got it, you you too far gone. Yeah, go ahead. I did not take any method. Meth okay, I, and I didn't say you did, but I mean, who ever slipped meth in your drink? Or I didn't know they were doing that. Or blue smoke in your face? Or uh, you know, you went to sleep and they rubbed some meth on you? I don't know how that works because uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not in that culture. But what I'm saying to you is, you need help. Um, because this is a lot to come back on a test. I usually expect, like you said, marijuana, alcohol, but you done hit me with the mess. Um, and so, no, that's a lot. You had everything. Uh, so what I'm going to ask you to do is you'll return to probation, you'll report as directed, and you'll attend one AA or NA meeting per week and show proof of it. That's not too much to get yourself back together. I'm trying to help you. You say you want to get your life back together. I'm trying to give you the means to do so. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I have been trying to, I got a good job. I had a good job before I ended up locked up here. It was paid almost $20 an hour. I had just started the two weeks beforehand. 
Mm -hmm. had a drug test for that. And then we come back with any meth or anything in my system. Okay. Well, like I said, um, I'm going to give you the opportunity to help yourself. You're going to attend those uh, NA, Narcotics Anonymous, or Alcoholics Anonymous. You're going to attend one of those meetings each week and show proof of having gone. Because I really feel like there's more going on here than you're admitting. Um, but like I said, if you're in a situation where you don't even know how you got exposed to meth, then that's a problem. And how long is this for, Your Honor? Just the balance of the probation? Yeah. Your All right. Honor, yes. If I may, um, he needs to report tomorrow. Um, report in person tomorrow at one forty-five. All right. All right, sir. One forty-five tomorrow. One forty-five tomorrow. Yes, she said to the probation office. All right. All righty. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Um, no, no, I don't. I don't believe so. Unless it's oh, right. Mr. White has something. I think. What you got, Mr. White? You know what, folks, I know I'm fussing, but I am so tired of people making stupid decisions. And I just found out, you know, it's like 35 bucks to get a license. I got people in here filling up my calendars for no license. They risking spending uh, 500 to 1000 to $1,500 for no license when it's 35 bucks to go and get your license. And you can take the exam. Uh, if you having trouble with the written exam, they got stuff on YouTube that'll help you figure out the rules. They got stuff everywhere. But folks standing in line, I mean, folks refusing to stand in line for a few minutes to get a license, and they out here just drive. Just drive. Your Honor, who did you call next? Marcia.